Hey, good morning. This is Ray over here at Namrat Farms. Oh, it's a beautiful day. We got frost on the ground. The sun is above us. Crystal clear blue skies. What a beautiful day. I hope your week is starting off just as wonderful as this one. Hey, it's Thanksgiving week, a week to give thanks. And what is something that sheep are thankful for? I'm here with my sheep, some right here, some right here. I'm literally standing in the middle of them all. What do sheep have to be thankful for? Well, one thing is by nature, Sheep are designed to be a part of something bigger than just themselves. They're designed to be a part of a flock, a member of a flock. There's nothing more saddening and for a sheep probably more depressing than to be alone. To wander off and be alone, to have no companions. You know, if a sheep can't be a member of a flock, they need other animals. They need something to connect with, a family to be bonded with. And so these sheep today, they're thankful because they have a flock and they have a shepherd who cares for them. And today, you and I, we have an opportunity to be thankful. Why? Because we are members of the body of Christ. We are the people of his pasture, the flock of the good shepherd. That is something to give thanks for. So today, give thanks with me and remind someone that you know, you are not alone. We are not alone. We are not alone. It doesn't matter if you look around and you can't see anybody else that's a member of the flock. Guess what? You're looking right now. You're joined together right now with other members of the body of Christ. You are not alone. We have reason to give thanks. For today, we're the sheep of the Good Shepherd's pasture. Now go enjoy the shepherd. I'll see you soon.